Today I'm gonna show you my least expensive lizard all the way to my most expensive lizard. But I'm gonna start with the six most expensive lizards that we have, which of course is Reptar, the lychee gecko. These guys are a New Caledonian giant gecko, of course the largest gecko in the world. And these guys go for about $800 for generic ones, which are called the GTs. But with the specific localities, they could go up for over $10,000. Now to the number one on the list, which of course would be a common leopard gecko. This is actually a little bit of a mutation, but a common leopard gecko is only about 40 bucks. Coming in at number two would be, of course, what I think is one of the greatest pet lizards out there, the crested gecko. And the reason crested geckos are so amazing is that they don't require all the heating elements that so many other animals are. Typically, they're just about room temperature. Don't have to feed them bugs. You can feed them a rapashi or pangea type of powdered food mixed with water. They're just a beautiful, cute, absolutely incredible lizard. And the price on these comes in at about 100 bucks. Number three on the list would be flaming Hot Cheeto. Now, bearded dragons could be kind of on the cheap side, even 70 or $100 for normal ones, but this particular mutation costs about $400 as a baby. Of course, he costs more now that he's an adult. And listen, I always say this when I'm talking about value of my animals, there is no value that I would sell these animals for because I love them so much. Even though his actual price tag might be $400, I would probably turn down $400,000. Noah, Noah, I'm trying to take my girl on this uh, little vacation. Vacation? <laughs> vacation, that's a lot of money, dog. Well, you got any ideas? Like, where do you think I should go? Last time I went on vacation, we went to the drive-in movies. Well, we just parked on the street and we just like walked from there, you know? Like you didn't go inside of the... Did she like that? Oh, she thought it was so romantic. Then this other time, my girl wanted to see Hills Island. She said, oh, take me to Switzerland. I don't got that money. But you know what I did? Where'd you take her? Took her to the landfill. The Man-made mountains. All the birds, the seagulls were flying out. But did she so like it? Man. I don't really think she loved it. I mean, the smell wasn't the best, but... Is this still your girlfriend? No, that's like three ago. Ah, okay, okay. Next up is our first monitor lizard. But it's a small monitor lizard that comes in at a relatively nice price for its size. I love Aki monitors. They're an Australian dwarf monitor that are just absolute rippers. There's red face and there's yellow face. This would be the red face here. They don't get much larger than this. Super cool animals. And you can buy them for about six. 600 bucks. Next up is another kind of smaller monitor lizard, but these guys certainly get bigger than the Aki monitors, maxing out at about four foot or something like that. And that, of course, is the Argus monitors. These guys actually come from the Australia area. Really cool, known for what they call tripoding, which means that they stand up on their back legs and their tail and their head goes up in the air, almost like a meerkat, but in the monitor sense. These guys are just really cool, super intelligent. This is Noah's buddy. His name is Chong. Noah loves this animal. And usually you can pick these up for about 700 bucks. And we're back to our leeching gecko that we started at at number six. Just a really cool animal, like I mentioned. I love the fact that they're super soft. I mean, when everyone touches these, they're always like, oh my gosh, I could not believe how soft they are. One of the cooler lizards. But let's go ahead and move on to number seven. Listen, my girl told me she wanted to go to the beach. We were driving down the street. We seen these people. They had kids in the front yard. Yeah, so we just stopped, knocked on their door. So you guys got a sandbox in the back? Wow, that was smart. I never thought of that one. She told me she wanted to go to the water park one time. So I told her, I said, get your swimsuit on. You love the water park, I love right? the water yeah. park. I told her, I said, get your swimsuit on. We're driving. I told her we are going to take the scenic route, you know? So just picture it driving. We got the music going. The swimsuit's already on. We got Whoa. towels. Setting the, setting the mood, right? We were driving by this house. Sprinklers. We parked. We got out right there. I mean, dude, we got onto something with this. water park. You know, I do cheap out on dates, I gotta admit. But you know what I don't cheap out on? What's that? The casino! Max bet every time. Ten dollar denomination, baby. I love the slot machines, baby. Let me get 500 on black. 500 on black. Ooh. Give me $50 on the odds. Just like that. Slot machines in my Bang. dream. Yeah. I'm thinking about yeah. casinos right now. Flashing. Lights, 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 lights. That was good. <laughs> Next up would actually be the Chihua gecko. Now, Chihua geckos are a lot like the lychee geckos. They stay a little bit smaller, obviously, but they're just kind of similar in the way they look. A little bit longer, a little bit more slender. And back in the day, Chihuahuas were actually a lot cheaper than lychee geckos. But now there's so many people producing lychees, the prices come down, and there's not nearly the amount of people that are producing the Chihua geckos, so the prices went up. So typically, a Chihua gecko can sometimes cost anywhere from 1000 to 1500 bucks, and some localities can go for a lot more.
power. Next up is Grits, the white-throated rock monitor. These are one of three rock monitors from Africa. This particular one is from South Africa, and this is about full grown for Grits. Absolutely powerful, beautiful animal. And white-throat monitors used to get imported and they were a little bit cheaper, but now they become pretty hard to get. And when you do find them, you have to pay about 2,000 bucks. And then there's the other rock monitor. These guys are actually from Tanzania though. They look very similar to Grits, right? But this would be called a black-throated monitor instead of white-throated monitor, and they're a little bit more rare. They get big. They're the largest of all the rock monitors in Africa. And I tell you what, Waffles here is just an absolute dinosaur. I love his giant head, his big tongue. He's like, hey dad, I want to go back home. These guys will set you back about 2,500 bucks. Why you ask me where they are? It's because I was saying that dude didn't know where they are. Oh, dude! Sorry, didn't see you there. Do you see me there? I was right here. I'm getting the roaches down. Just hold it. I'm not gonna hold a roach. Well, at least they smell good. You didn't know they make jelly out of roaches? And jams out of roaches. That Fiera Rocher? Yeah, the, the crunchy sensation is roach legs. That's why it's Rocher, dude. Whoa! That looks like your kitchen. No, it's Grab a juicy one. Grab this juicer. <laughs> no, you let the. Ah! You know what, will you help me? I got no. it. Help me. Help me. You got it? I don't got it at all. Don't drop the roaches. Oh my god. No, oh my god, bro. Where's I, the... lo <laughs> I lost one. I repopulate? Yeah, they're <laughs> roaches. They can survive nuclear holocaust. Have you seen a roach around here? Oh, snap. Oh no, it's in your bag. I... Okay, there was a lump. I was like, there might be one. <laughs> oh, there it is. Not the safest thing that we've done. Short tongue. Adrenaline. Have you done this before? Noah! No! Oh, wait, let me get it. Let me get it. Hold on. Shut the f up! Noah. <laughs> Noah, where was that? You just put that on you in there? You swear to God that you grabbed that off my back. Are you joking with me? No, did you put that on your back in there? Why would I do that? How? Shut up! That's not real. You shut up! I thought you I saw a bump, dude. That's why There's I said. No way. Well, put it in the bucket then. Next on the list is this handsome little devil here. Of course, Elvis, my Asian water monitor. Now, interestingly enough, it's a little difficult when it comes to pricing because imported baby water monitors can be as cheap as like a hundred bucks or something like that. But captive bred, beautifully well tamed ones, as babies go for about fifteen hundred dollars. An animal about his size that is tame and is docile to him, again, is completely priceless. There's no way you could put a value on this animal. But if someone was going to sell a tame water monitor like this, they're probably going to ask somewhere about three thousand dollars. But again, for me. Elvis would never be for sale because it would be like me selling Noah. Now, to be honest with you, that'd probably be easier to sell. I get the hint, Dad. Next up would be another beautiful Asian water monitor, but this guy's name, of course, is Toothless. He's the Black Dragon, and I tell you what, he is an absolute handful. Uh-oh, now he's up here. I'm in trouble. There is nothing I can do. Toothless, don't tip me. He's got strong claws, and he's gonna be climbing all over the place. I love Toothless. When I bought Toothless, believe it or not, they were like $7,500 for babies. Now they've come down in price. An animal Toothless size would probably set you back about four thousand bucks toothless where are you going buddy you going down okay go down you cannot imagine the pressure he has i mean this guy is a tree climber for sure look at him get down like that Man, tell you what, that is one cool animal. Next up would be Beetlejuice, the Bell's Face Lace Monitor. One of my dream monitors. I saw these when I was in Australia 12, 13 years ago, and I fell in love with them, never thinking that I would have the opportunity to work with something like this. What an amazing animal. He's getting big, he's mellowing out, and these guys still go for some pretty good money, typically anywhere between five and $6,000. There's just something different when you walk into an enclosure with a croc monitor like Baby Kush. I mean, look at his eyes. He's just like, his pupils just dilate out. What's going on? He's completely aware. He's like, what are your intentions? He's thinking, right? He's trying to think like, what am I gonna do? And I'm not gonna muck with you, buddy. I'm gonna let you stay there where he's basking under that beautiful light right now. This is an amazing animal. As baby captive bred, these guys can go for like $7,500. When you get into a captive bred animal the size of Baby Kush, literally they can go for up to $10,000 and they are worth every penny because the captive bred animals are so much better than the wild caught ones that come in a little bit cheaper but usually are beat up and typically you can't work with them now of course baby kush when he was a baby was a little bit rough but he's mellowing out but he's giving me that hiss right now like don't come any closer don't worry buddy i'm gonna leave you alone what an amazing animal next up we have a hiccup the albino gallivensis and he's rolling around in the bedding he almost looks like he's got pepper all over him what a cool animal here and this particular line which is called an albino snow is pretty rare 
absolutely wonderful. So happy that we we're able to get this animal, but it did set us back $12,500. Look at how awesome it is. It's worth every penny. Look at how amazing that animal is. Even if he's dirty, to me, he's beautiful. Just missed you with his paint. Oh, dude. I, oh, like, yeah, I do know. If this does come out, I can't <laughs> grab it. Me either, so. We should probably like, no, okay, just leave them both open. Don't. I think we can only feed it one though, actually. Oh, yeah, God. I need to stand this way and feed it this way. That's not safe. I'm scared of the cockroach. Ah! It's going right to its death. It's got his propellers on. Pe propellers. No, get the ropes. Give me the. You're gonna do it. <laughs> no. No, pick the ropes. Oh. No. No. Besides that, they're short. You pick the not grab them. Jesus. Gosh. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was that was worth it. Good job. And then there is Frosty. Now Frosty has a bunch of shed all over it, but you can see how pure white that is. A white monitor. And this is definitely the most expensive animal I ever bought when it came to a lizard. And I think he's worth every penny. I mean, once it sheds out, you can see that absolutely beautiful white look at that. Oh my goodness. It's amazing the contrast between the old skin and that white underneath. Set me back $50,000. But listen, I think it's worth every penny. And that basically rounds out the cheapest lizards all the way to the most expensive lizards here at the Reptarium. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, this is not that one, so we really did lose it.